I wanted to talk about freelancing and being being a freelancer. So I, I talk, I bring up freelancing when it comes to my work, it comes to making my income. I, I'm doing it through freelance, and I, I'm a, I'm a freelancer. So I, I'm kind of I just wanted to talk a little bit about that because some of you that are considering living this, going to this lifestyle, buying an RV, moving to moving or traveling to wherever it is that you want to go, you know, getting rid of your, uh, selling your house, getting out of your rental apartment, what have you, and going to more of a simple, a simpler life, trying to simplify your life more. Some of you, a lot of you may be asking the question, well, how am I going to make money? How am I going to support myself? How am I going, how am I going to pay my own way through life? How am I going to do that? Well, that's an excellent question, and I am going to hopefully give you some ideas and some strategies about going about how to go about doing it. And so I'm just going to go ahead and start off by sharing with you my story. So when I when I first moved into the into the truck camper, I had visions of going back to North Dakota and doing work in the oil fields. I had visions of, of doing that, either driving truck, working construction, or working some high paying jobs. And I kind of had, I had, because that's what my background is in. My background is in, is in construction. I have my, my Class A commercial driving license. I can drive truck. So I, I just had some thoughts about going back uh, because that boom was still going on and I still believe that there's still some work out there. But that boom has really busted. And, so, so I had uh, I had visions of going back there, and then about a month about a month later, I had changed my mind after doing a bunch of research, and I just decided that that wasn't for me. I, I just didn't want to do that. I would rather really would rather focus on living in a place where I'd like to live, living in a climate where I'd like to live, and uh, you know, so that's what I that's what I did. I came to Oregon, and I uh, I set began to set some plant some roots here in Oregon. So part of that process for me, it was it started out applying for a lot of uh, seasonal jobs and uh, some jobs with the government. Uh, I had applied in a lot of places, and I really didn't know I didn't really didn't know what what what, what I what I was going to do. And that's a great thing they like to bring up is that, in my opinion, you don't you don't have to have. Everybody always talks about, well, you know, what's your plan? And you got to have a plan. And, and and I'm here to tell you guys that in a lot of cases that that can hurt you. That can block your flow of creativity and ideas because that's putting pressure on uh, on you that may not be needed. Now, you know, not now having a plan is great, but what I'm talking about, I'm just I'm sharing with you here from my own experience. So just keep that keep that in mind. So when I when I came came down here, I uh, I applied for a lot of jobs and a lot of things wasn't a lot of things weren't coming together for me. I've I posted videos from last year talking about jobs I applied to and interviews and just this whole process and and I was coming up on a lot of on a lot of dead ends and. And there, you know there could be a lot of reasons for that. Uh, I'm a very highly employable person. I, you know, I have a clean record, a clean track record on everything. So there wasn't any reason why I couldn't get employment. So there, uh, so I was getting frustrated, and I was getting, uh, I was getting very, very frustrated with just a lot of things going on. And then one day I said, I said, well, you know what? Just screw it. I am going to go out there, and I'm going to market. I'm going to market my my skills, my talents, and my abilities, and that is exactly what I did. And I have uh, I've had some great success with making that decision. And you know, it's really all about going out there, grabbing life by the horns, and taking it, taking it, man. Take life. You know, life is it's out there. It's asking you to 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 take it, right? So so I uh, I began to. I began to start to advertise my services. I began to do work because I had I had all of uh, my my tools. I had in my maintenance maintenance and handyman business. For those of you that don't know, I do property maintenance and caretaking. 
So I do jack of all trades, maintenance outside of the property. It could be everything for painting, window washing, power washing, weed eating, uh, ma just maintenance in the maintenance in the in the lawn, whatever, whatever the customer, whatever kind of whatever work that the customer needs. I work for the customer, so my what I do is very personalized. So I. I come to the customer and I, I, I basically I work for them and I do whatever that they whatever that they want done and I charge a price and a rate that I would like that I would like to make that I feel that that I'm worth of my uh, my skills and my expertise and that people pay me so it's it's a wonderful thing so I uh, I started to. I ran flyers in the post office and I started getting calls and when I first started the work was slow and it gradually started to pick up and it started to snowball I started I started to get referrals and then those referrals led to more referrals and that's how my enterprise has gone so far so that's the the my, that that's my, my short story okay so I talk about freelancing because you see here's the thing guys in every town in every city town anywhere in America there are problems that need to be solved okay and that's the question that you always have to ask yourself is how can I be of service to this community and what problems are there that, that I can solve what kind of solutions can I come up with to the problems that currently exist in this community and that's the only question that you need to ask yourself and then and then you need to go into what skills and the natural abilities and what talents do I possess that I can bring to the marketplace to solve all of these problems and you start right there those are basically two two questions that, that I gave you and you start right there now you see what's gonna what's gonna what's gonna foul most of you up and what's gonna play games with your head is it's what's going on between here and here. Because the thing is is being being an employee, being a worker bee, and working for yourself, being self-employed, it takes two different two different mindsets. Even if you're self-employed, you, I'm sorry, even if you're employed, you work for somebody else, you should always think of yourself as being self-employed. Never, ever, ever think that you work for anybody else. You never do. You always work for yourself. Even when you work for somebody else, you always are working for you, okay? You, you are self-employed all the time. So that's... Because there, there's a lot of things that that that, well, that 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 trip you up. I tell people about what what I do. I tell past people in my life about what I do. I tell family, friends about what I do, and and it's interesting to see the look on some of their faces because they have fear in their faces. They have all this attachment to security, you know, false sense of security. They can't. They have a very difficult time operating on the level or the plane that I operate. I operate and I function on. They have a difficult time relating to that because they've been in that other matrix and, and, and I know what that's all about. So I've talked a little bit about that. Actually, I want to talk about is opportunity. Okay. Guys, there's more opportunity out there than you can shake you can shake a stick at. There, there, there are, like I said, and what what is what is opportunity? Opportunity is problems to solve. There's problems to solve. There is people need need things done. Okay. Um, you know, for example, this community, the community that I live in right now, Florence, Oregon, it's a, a very much uh, it's a very much a retirement community. All of my customers, they are all retired. They are all at the age where they have worked very hard their entire life. They've retired. And now they're at the level where, and age, where they hire people to do work for them. They're not doing all of the work. They're not doing everything. They're hiring people to do things. They need people to do these services. They need good people that are honest, that follow through, that work hard, offer a good, valuable service. They need that. And I'm telling you guys right here, right now, in any 
any field there is a need for you there there is there is is a need there there is there is a need that needs to be filled i mean if you're you could be a freelance mechanic you could be a freelance welder you could be you could you could do freelance work part time and maybe you've got maybe you need to work a full time job well you could uh, you could take up freelance work in your part time to go full time so there's there there is is a lot of opportunity and this really guys is the route that I suggest you take. It's it's to be self-employed. It's to take back control of your life. It's to be in control of your life. It's to be in control of your destiny. It's to go out there and earn the income that you feel you're worth. These are really, really important things. And, and I really, really, really stress. stress. Myself, I'm all about being self-reliant. Um, I don't I don't. Uh, I don't depend on on anybody for anything other than than myself. Uh, I I have the liberty. I have the freedom, and I'm going to go out there and I am going to I'm going to utilize it. I'm going to utilize it, and I'm going to maximize it as much as I possibly can. Now, what is it going to take to become a freelancer? Well, you need to get your you need to get your expenses low. When you first start out freelancing, you may make a lot of money. You may not make much money at all. And so you need to be prepared for that. You need to be prepared to live on less for a while, okay? And um, until until you get things going, it, it could take. Now, for me and what I've been doing, it took me about a year of, of uh, getting my name out there to you know for business for business to really pick up. I'm at the point right now where I'm not doing any more ever. I'm not doing any advertising right now. I have more work than I need. I've got. Lots of customers. They are they're hiring me more frequently to do work for them, and you know, and so it's it's uh, it's working out really well. So I I declare how much that I want to work and, and how much I don't want to work, and I have some control on those valves. Okay, you know, when you work for other people, when you work a, you know when you work a full time job, you don't have control of those valves. Your employer has their their dial their control of those dials. How much you work and and how much you're gonna make and and if you ask me, guys, it's a bad deal. It's a really bad deal. The only way is to work for yourself, and um, and it and it and it gives you the self reliance. It gives you the freedom, and it makes you a much much stronger person, stronger person. You know, inside in your heart, in your mind. Because you're not dependent on on anybody for anything. You you take care of your own. You pull your own weight, and um, and and that that to me, guys, is 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 what is what it is all about. It's it's like a muscle. You got to think about all. You got to think about your mind as a muscle, and 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 you can make your mind strong. That's what that's what I suggest, and that's what I, that's what I recommend. Pay the price, whatever it is. And, uh, and go for it. But there is so much freelancing work out there. I mean, it's it's really, really, really amazing. But it takes, you have to be able to see it with your own eyes. You have to be able to go in on faith that there is in the beginning. And, and you just have to make things make things work. And But if you go out there with the right attitude and the right mindset of being of service to other people, you're going to have no problems whatsoever, only success in my book. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next video.